hello friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about memory now in a computer memory is needed to store programs and data right the memory unit which directly communicates with the cpu is main memory right a program can be executed if it is in main memory right now this main memory consists of ram and rom ram means a random access memory and rom is read only memory this uh, random access memory ram it is also called read write memory because uh, the content of ram can be changed it means we can write anything in ram but in rom we cannot write anything its content cannot be changed right and uh, one thing is that when power is turned off the content which is in ram it is destroyed but in rom when the power is turned off the content is uh, not destroyed now the programs and data which are not required by the cpu they are not kept in main memory they are kept in auxiliary memory the auxiliary memory stores all the data in a computer system so whenever the data or a program is required by the cpu that program and data is transferred from auxiliary memory to main memory right now whenever there is some data or a program which is not required by the cpu that data and program must be transferred from main memory to auxiliary memory now the example of uh, auxiliary memories are magnetic disks and tapes now see this uh, rom its uh, content is not destroyed whenever power is turned off this uh, rom stores a program called boot strap loader now what is the function of this boot strap loader whenever we start a computer or we can say whenever power is turned on this program boot strap loader it loads a portion of the operating system from disk to main memory and the control is then transferred to the operating system which prepares the computer for general use now integrated circuit ram chips they are available in two possible operating modes static and dynamic static ram it consists of flip flops and dynamic ram it consists of capacitors now see the cpu logic is uh, usually faster than the main memory access time therefore the performance of cpu is limited by the access time of main memory so what we will do to enhance the performance of a cpu we employ a small high speed memory called cache the purpose of a cache is a, to provide the current program and data to the cpu at rapid rate so the, uh, now we have three memories cache main memory and auxiliary memory cache memory is the fastest among these uh, all memories its uh, size is smallest among all these three memories now main memory 
its uh, size is more than the size of cache but it is uh, smaller than auxiliary memory right its uh, access time is higher than the access time of cache but its access time is lower than the access time of auxiliary memory right now cache memory is uh, very expensive it is uh, the most expensive among all these memories and uh, auxiliary memory is the cheapest memory among all these memories